An instructional coach is a person who is a colleague and supports teachers in their own professional development. Instructional coaching is a teacher who works on site in a school and um, works with their fellow teachers to provide support for students and support for learning and support for professional growth. I work with teachers as they are working on their personal professional development goals, um, as they're trying to implement some of the district um, directives, and just supporting them in conversation and in classrooms on whatever they need to work on or what they are curious about. We are a certificated teacher. We're not administrative, um, and yet we're here in the district, so we really know all the district policies and how Federal Way works and what our goals are as a district so that we're team players. We're on the same team with the teachers. We're not having to spend time coming in figuring out what makes Federal Way tick. It's confidential. I don't report to my principal what I see. He doesn't ask me either. Um, I really try to work with teachers on what they want help with and sometimes teachers will ask me specifically I want help with um, literature circles or I want help with writing a learning target or a learning objective but sometimes I have some teachers that just say can you just come in and see what you think and let me know. Some teachers um, they really want somebody to reflect with because they feel isolated in their classrooms and so having the opportunity to have somebody full-time on staff that they can come to and reflect has been really important. Other teachers, it's taken them a while to warm up because you have to build relationships with people and build trust. It's not about evaluation. It really is about collaborating with someone, having a thinking partner, being able to come with problems or dilemmas or issues. And that's the culture that, um, that I've tried to build, not only in Federal Way, but you know, in other districts that I've been in. It's about what you want to practice. It's not about what I want you to practice. So what are your goals? What do you want to achieve? What do you see going on in your classroom? And how do you want to reflect on that? What do you want to work on? I'm a co-learner with the teachers, and I really try to advertise that I do do some things well, but there are other things that I'm learning right alongside you, and I have the time in my schedule to research those, learn with you together, and pull those things out. The teacher will come and say, here's my issue, and then we go through this cycle and of exploring and then brainstorming and then actually coming up with some ideas, um, but the goal is that the answer is with inside the teacher. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about coaching is that Teachers think that if they work with a coach, it's this red flag of, ooh, there's something wrong with my practice, and that I maybe, you know, I'm not doing something right. And really, I think the opposite is true. I think people that really take advantage of working with a coach are really reflective in their practice and want to get better. So if you're struggling to have kids meet a standard and you're like, I've tried things and it's not working, um, I can be the one to come in and find a resource for you or to help you think through how can I do this more efficiently. And so while it's true that meeting may take some time, I'm available during the school day, which is wonderful. So I can come, some teachers choose to have me come during planning time. Sometimes we have quick conversations during lunch. Um, it's, it's based on when the teacher wants to meet with me. You know, some teachers, um, they maybe want an article on motivating unmotivated students. Um, so that might be how I would support that teacher. So it looks very different, just like teaching looks very different when we are with our students. I think this year working with one of my teachers who I'd consider you know, an expert type of teacher, we worked together and planned a unit on fractions to teach with her fifth graders and we team taught over the course of four or five days um, concepts that she felt like her kids just really didn't understand. And I think one of the things we learned from that is the kids loved it. We had a great time team teaching and reflecting on, oh, this didn't go well or, oh, this went great or here's where we can go next. And it was just a great opportunity to work together. An outside consultant would come in and have an agenda, something that they're ready to share with us that, they're, that they've prepared. And um, being on site and in the school, I can get to know the teachers personally and I can talk with them and have conversations and find out what their needs are. And then my job is to sift through all of the you know, information and standards and research that's out there and tailor what the teachers in my school need. I'm here to help the teachers deal with what they're already facing and help them do it more efficiently. My job is to make your job easier and um, you know the success of students is what determines our success as teachers and so 
That's really the bottom line. Um, and I'm there for teacher success and for student success. The wisdom is in the room. When you get teachers together to really authentically share what they know and listen to each other's ideas, amazing things happen. Mm -hmm.